Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lisa, Best Life Lee. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a New England clam boil. I'm making this today because my dad and his girlfriend Lainey are coming over for lunch. So yeah. clam boils here in New England, we have clam boils, we have clam bakes. Clam bakes are made typically in the ground. I've never made one. I've been to one or two in my lifetime, but I typically will make a clam boil, which is really, really simple. And it's been a tradition in my life since I can remember my grandfather, um, my dad's father, um, Sam. He always made a clam boil on my birthday since I turned two years old probably and I can remember from pictures you know of them doing the clam boil with me you know sort of just crying I used to cry every time at my birthday when they sang happy birthday to me but um, it is just a tradition for me it is nostalgic for me I have to do it every dad. summer my dad nice. really does enjoy it he was part of that whole tradition obviously he grew up on clam boils and his dad always made them so it's a really Really great way for us to connect to our sort of heritage and our family so that's what I'm making today I'm going to show you from start to finish how I prep the clams clean them and then put them in the pan to boil now it's called a boil but it's really you steam them and so I have a big clam uh, pot where it has a bottom portion where you put the liquid and then the top portion which has holes in the bottom that you put the clams and everything else in so that that liquid steams up and cooks your clam boil and what I put in my clam boil is obviously steamers I the little clams I put potatoes and I usually put like gold Yukon potatoes like not a russet potato but like a I don't know why, but the russet potato doesn't seem to go with it. So I use the gold. Um, and then onions, I usually will put Vidalia onions. Just put them in their hole or you can cut them in half. And then hot dogs. So your favorite hot dog will go in there. You can put other things in there. Some people put like a sausage here in New England. My part, neck of the woods, people will sometimes put linguisa. I am not putting that in. Linguisa is a Portuguese sausage. Um, so I'm not gonna put any of that in there today. I'm just doing basics. Potatoes, hot dogs, onions, and clams. So if you wanna see how I do a New England clam boil, then just keep on watching. So the first thing you want to do is clean your clams. You want to make sure that there's no sand left in them. So I get them in a big bowl of cold water and then I am going to put some pepper in the water and this gets them to sort of spit out any remaining sand. Now I'm going to just show you. This is the bottom part of my clam boil pot. It has this little spigot here because um, when the clams are all cooked, we take some broth um, out of there so that we can dip our clams into it to clean it off, clean off the clam of any remaining sand, and then we dip it in melted butter, and it's just delicious. But anyway, this is the first um, section, and I have some water in here. Not too Not much water because uh, the clams are going to produce their own broth. You know, that's what's going yeah. to make the delicious broth to rinse the clams in. Then I have then, the second part of the pot, which is the one with the holes inside. And this is where I put all of the ingredients, the clams, the potatoes, potatoes and the hot dogs. And you'll see that when I'm ready to put that in when everything starts to boil. And then, of course, I have my cover which will keep everything in there uh, nice and steamy and cook everything up. All right guys, I have my gold potatoes. I'm gonna wash them and then I'm gonna cut them into quarters and I have my sweet Vidalia onions and I'm going to take the skin off of these and I think I'm gonna leave them whole. That way they'll, um, cause these are kind of small. So I'll leave them whole and just sprinkle them in. I'm gonna get everything cut up and we're gonna get it into the pan. Let me show you the hot dogs that I bought too. The hot dogs really are the, what everybody goes for, you know, in this clam boil and it's so delicious. So I always pick up like a case 
and these are the old time beef franks so i'm gonna put these in so let's get shopping and get this whole thing in the pan So my water is pretty much just about boiling, so I'm going to get uh, get the um, flame reduced a little bit, and then I'm going to put the pot on so that we can start layering everything. Okay guys, that's all there is to it. Just layer everything in the pan, let the uh, steam come up and cook it for about, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half, however long it takes for those clams to open and for the potatoes to be tender. And that's when you know that it's done. So I leave it alone here now, uh, let it do its thing and um, I'm going to go outside and get my table all set up. We're eating out on the patio. It is, <laughs> where did the sun go? It was just so beautiful, like, you know, half an hour ago, but it's coming back out. I have no doubt. And so I'm going to go prep that, get that all set so that when my dad and Lainey come, we can just sit and relax and enjoy ourselves out there. Um, I have just for appetizer, I'm just doing like a little spicy pub spicy blend. It's just like a little crunch mix. And then I'm just going to do, I have a French bread that I'm just going to cut up and put a little oil and Parmesan and spices just to dip a little bit of bread. That's all we're doing for appetizers and I'm not doing any I'm not doing any kind of alcohol. I have like two beers in there. My dad will share one with me. I'm sure he doesn't want a whole beer, but I do like to have a beer with a clam boil. My mom was like that. She always she never drank beer, but when she had a clam boil, she liked to have a beer and I'm the same way and I do it in her honor. So um, yeah, I'm gonna just go set my tablescape. I will show you the tablescape when it's all done and I will show you the clam boil when we are sitting down to eat it. I promise I won't forget this time. Usually I get going with my entertaining and then I forget to show the food, but no, I will definitely um, take some film of the finished clam boil with our delicious broth and delicious melted butter. You're right in the middle. So I got my clam. Oh, you can take a little thing of me if you want. <laughs> We're doing Lisa right now. I'm with getting jealous clams. now. Now you are getting jealous, getting aren't jealous you? Of Bob getting all the. Oh, it's unbelievable. Thing. You got all your and you dunk goes. Yeah. in your water. Then you dunk in your butter. And, and put it in your mouth. <laughs> There you go. Wow. Mm, <laughs> first clam of the season. What a job. Mmm. <laughs> mm. We've been eating clams since she was nigh on to a grasshopper. 
Huh? Hey, we got a little bit of them. You're going to edit it anyway. From here. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Zoom Put in on your face. Out. Reese's clams. <laughs> and I've been eating these since how long? You have been eating these since you were knee high to a grasshopper. Yeah. 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 And I have been eating these since I was knee high to an ant. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. How does it taste? Oh, it's good. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I, don't I don't eat clams, but everything else is delicious. <laughs> Thanks, please.